Hi, friends. Let's see. Let's check out and make sure we're going here. Hey, everyone. This is Kristen Fagan with Softlex Company for a new episode of Free Spirit Feeding on the Softlex Company YouTube channel. I am here on Mondays. I'm excited to be here today. Let's see. All right. So today we're gonna to be working with some Softlex craft wire. Hi, Lydia, glad you can join me. Um, I did not get my email out before this video because I got involved doing something else. And so <laughs> we might not have as many people live today as usual. So I'm a little bummed out about that. I try to always get the email out before, but just didn't work today. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna be working with some craft wire and we are gonna make a wire wrapped beaded bangle. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Lee. I always say Lee, but I was wondering, is it Leah? Hi, Beth. I was curious last week. I was like, you know, I always say hello to Lee and I'm not sure if she's actually Leah. <laughs> Hi, Anita. Good to see everyone. So I made some bangle bracelet examples and we are gonna do something like this today. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Fern. Oh, good. A lot of you still found me even though I didn't get the email out before I went live. <laughs> Hi, Janine from Missouri. How are you guys there? I'm actually, we're chilly here in Arizona today. Um, pretty, pretty nice, a big dip in the weather. And um, it's, uh, it's nice to be able to feel a little cool. So Sarah is here with Softlex Company. She's gonna post some links for us. Hi, Karen. Welcome, welcome. So today we're going to make some wire wrapped bangle bracelets with Softlex um, craft wire and I made these two with the Pantone bead mix so we introduced um, a couple weeks ago a 2020 fall winter Pantone bead mix and it came with um, all of these colors it's got the brick red the blue depths sleet and military olive and I just pulled out um, some of the red and gold and there were two green ones left so I grabbed that for this holiday inspired bangle and then this one I used the blue and the sleep beads from the mix um, and did this one on just the non tarnish silver plated wire we're gonna use two gauges of wire we're gonna use the 18 gauge for the bangle shape and then we're gonna use 22 gauge for the actual wrapping. Here it is with the red and the green. And you can do 20 gauge for the shape. I actually did do 20 gauge on this one, um, but I like the 18 gauge better. It feels a little bit um, sturdier and I just prefer it. So if you have 18 gauge, I would say go with that one. Who else is here? Lydia just went to Walmart earlier and thought the cool elf felt good. Yes, we had such a hot, hot summer. It's so true. Um, yeah, Gloria, welcome. Good to see you today. So I'm gonna be using craft wire. I've got um, nylon jaw pliers. I've got some chain nose pliers. And I'm actually gonna grab some beads from the Halloween kit. So we've got this great little beading kit. Well, you know what? I should back up here and look at my notes because I have a few things I want to tell you guys about. Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is you buy three, get one free until tomorrow for all of our craft wire items. That is mix and match anything in the craft wire section. So we've got lots of different gauges of round craft wire. That's the um, the more uh, traditional shape. And we've got that in 18 gauge, which is the thick 
thickest down to 28 gauge, which is the thinnest. And you can mix and match the gauges. You can mix and match the colors. Um, buy three, get one free. Buy six, get two free. Buy nine, get three free and so on and so forth, you get the idea. And that is over at softlexcompany.com. And in addition to round shapes, we also have a half round and we have a square shape. Um, they're both, the half round I think is generally used for things like cabochons uh, and the square can be used for lots of different things. It's really quite pretty. So if you haven't tried either of those shapes, now might be a fun time to throw one extra in your cart, because if you buy three, you're gonna get one free. Um, and that would be a great way. I think this square is gorgeous. I've only used it on uh, one tutorial, I think, so far. I just kind of forget about it, but it's really, really pretty. If you, got, if you get our emails, I will be sending one out this afternoon that's gonna have three different ideas for using square. One I did, and then two that James did here on the YouTube channel. So you can also find that in here. Um, you could probably just search Square Craft Wire and see all of them in the YouTube channel. So we've got new beads, the new Pantone collection bead mix and bead strands. Um, we've been playing with these. I used the Military Olive last week, but we still have, and I still have all of these three left, the Blue Depths, the Sleet, and the fired brick really really pretty great fall colors really rich we have the pantone quad that goes with that and that's got the tanzanite for our sleet the dark blue lapis for the blue depths the garnet for the fired brick and the um antique brass color for our military olive yes beth we do sell those beads um, you can find them over at softlexcompany.com they are right on the home page and i think someone i think sarah's here to share some links when she gets a chance they are really beautiful they're limited um quantity we had them made especially for us they're exclusive from jesse james beads and um only made for us here at Softlex Company, and once they're gone, they're gone. Um, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Sarah said she's sharing everywhere else. <laughs> Let me grab that for you. <laughs> it's, it's a lot, there's a lot of things going on. You got a lot of links to share. Um, and then, so then we have the quad of beading wire that we put together. You get four, the four colors in 10 foot each. And in the Pantone and then we have the, the bead mix and that's what I used in these bangles here is the little mini mix where you get all of these colors all together. Hey Suzanne, welcome. All right, so we got the sale done. I talked about Pantone. Let's talk about beading kits. So we've got a couple of kits online right now. We sold out of the mask lanyard kits. Um, so that was nice to see. I know it's just such a thing we need right now. Uh, did I spell your name right? Let's see. Softlex, you're asking Softlex Company? Um, S-O-F-T, oh, Sarah, you're asking Sarah, no H. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> the sleet is my favorite as well. Well, the military olive is my favorite favorite. And then I really love the sleet is next. Um, you know, Karen, you might be able to make the bangles to be open. I didn't do that for this particular tutorial today. This is a, a closed circle bangle. Um, so you may need to just adjust the tutorial if you want to have it be an open bangle. All right. Beading kits. Halloween mini beading kit is now 25% off. It was already a smoking deal at $14.95. You get a large mix of check glass beads in candy 
corn colors, orange, white, and yellow. And it comes with white soft flex beading wire. You get crimps, you get findings, and you get some jack-o'-lantern charms. Um, mini bead stoppers, which are super cute. And now it is only 1121 while supplies last. So that is a great, great offer. I know Halloween is coming up quickly, um, but you can pull each of the colors out and do things with them separately. You don't have to make a candy um, corn colored design if we are past Halloween. Um, I'm gonna be using just the yellow beads from it today to make the bangle. And then you'll see you get plenty of beads that you can pull out and make all white, make all orange, make all yellow. And in fact, for those of you that are in the Facebook group, um, the VIB group over on Facebook, you'll see that Sarah did that last week. She made three different designs, one yellow, one orange, and one white. So even though Halloween is coming up quickly, um, this kit can still be used past the holiday. Super smoking deal. The wire alone sells for $7.89. So you're getting the beads, the crimps, bindings, some charms, and bead stoppers all for just a few dollars more. So it's really, um, you really can't beat it. Last feeding kit I want to talk about, and then we're going to get going here, is um, the Fall Masterpiece Bead Strand and Kit. So the kit is 90% sold out. It's a mystery kit, so I can't show you the kit, but I will show you the bead strand that complements it. Really beautiful fall colors. This is a very elegant kit. It's definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> it, um, we are going to be doing a Facebook Live video. Sarah will be doing an unveiling, uh, unboxing on Wednesday of this week. I can't believe that's coming up already, October 28th at 3 p.m. Pacific time on the Softlex Company Facebook page. And then we're also going to be sharing that kit with um, the Facebook beading party that we're gonna be hosting uh, on November 5th. And lastly, we're gonna show it again and do some designing with it and during the Great Bead Extravaganza on November 8th. I'll be doing, um, I'll be joining Sarah for the Softlex Company time slot. And uh, so we'll have, you'll have three opportunities to see us designing with that fall masterpiece kit. And like I said, it's 90% sold out. I think we're getting close to just single digits almost at this point. Um, so if you wanna join us for that and you wanna have the kit to beat along with us, make sure you grab one. And that's at softlexcompany.com. I mentioned the great bead extravaganza. Ah, if you haven't heard what that is, um, we are having a wonderful beading event over on Facebook. It's called the great bead extravaganza. Join us November 6th through 8th um for an online beading event like no other we're gonna have some of our favorite jewelry making suppliers that'll be there they're gonna be offering tons of video tutorials giveaways sale promotions everyone each company is gonna have like an hour and a half time slot uh, to share with you whatever they want it could be a pattern it could be um, a promotion it could be whatever they decide so each comp it's kind of like if you went to a beach show and you can show up at, at each company's booth for a specific time and see what they have going on what products they want to share a demonstration maybe a special um, promotion things like that so really excited about that that's coming up quickly november 6th through 8th friday oh friday at 1 p.m um over on the, this Friday at 1 p.m. over on the Softlex Company Facebook page, we are gonna be doing a preview for that event. So um, it'll be a live preview. We're gonna get some of our friends that are gonna be presenting, the jewelry suppliers that are gonna be presenting to join us and just do like a fun chat, um, say hello, you get to meet people and uh, very excited about that. So that live preview is this Friday, October 30th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And then the 
actual event is November 6th through 8th, the Great Bead Extravaganza on Facebook. And um, there is a schedule on there so you can see who's doing what at what time. All of the presentations should be saved in the group. Um, it's Each presenter is going to be doing their own thing and I don't see why they would take it down. So we assume everything will be saved there for you to watch later. But again, it's up to each individual presenter what they plan to do in their particular time slot. Okay, we had a lot to talk about. I'm going to turn the... <laughs> this down and let's get beating. <laughs> that was so much. <laughs> that was so much. I was looking at the clock and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've already been talking for 15 minutes. <laughs> we are all fired up. It's so true. <laughs> All right, so this is what I've got left of my Halloween mix. It had the white and the orange, and then I pulled out all of the yellow because I am going to make, um, I do need a sip of water, <laughs> which of course I don't have any near me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I pulled out all of the yellow beads to play with to create our, our bangle. I just Googled and found this neat little chart online to help you with your sizing. I guess this would be considered an extra small, a two inch round. Two and a quarter would be a small, medium two and a half, and large is two and three quarters. And this is my size. Um, I grabbed some bangles that I just happened to have here and I fit right on that large. Is <laughs> the M for man hands? <laughs> the M is for medium there, which this might be considered a popular size. Um, I know for me, I always have trouble finding bangles that fit. So it's nice to be able to make my own um, and go off this large size here. And if this large size is even too small for you, you can go up a little bit more. I mean, that's the beauty of making your own jewelry is that you can do it for whatever makes sense for you. Okay. Yeah, the yellow is really pretty. I do. I love these faceted beads on here too. I, they're almost like a I like how they're um, an opaque yellow color. They're a nice mix with the other, with the other beads. So I am going to be using Softlex Craft Wire, non-tarnished silver, silver plated, 18 gauge. Ooh, a Pringles jar, <laughs> a Pringles can. Maybe that would even help to make the um, <laughs> make the wire shape. I do not have this on the website. No, I found this. Um, I Googled it. I just put in, I just searched and said bangle size and looked at images. And that's where I found this guy here. So two inches, two and a quarter, two and a half, and then two and three quarters. Yeah, I found it. I actually looked in like the image search. I didn't even look on links. I just looked on images to see um, what looked good. So I'm gonna first cut my 18 gauge for the base and I'm gonna cut 30 inches of this. So I'm just gonna take that off and pull out 30 inches. Before I cut it off my spool, I'm gonna take my nylon jaw plier and I'm gonna run that along the entire length, maybe twice, just to smooth it out. And then I'm gonna use my flush cutters and this side is gonna be a nice straight cut. This side gives you a little bit of a point on there. So I want my straight side to be facing the piece I'm cutting off the spool. So if I cut that there, 
Now I've got a really nice flat cut. And I'm just gonna go to the other side and you'll see that the other side has a little bit of a point. So I'm gonna take my flush cutters and I'm just gonna, using the flat side facing my wire, trim that and now I have a nice flat cut on both ends. So I found using a soft flex spool worked out really well for me to get this large, this large size. So that's what I'm gonna use as my base. You'll see it's just slightly smaller because it actually goes in here. But when you take it, after you wrap it, you, can, you have a little um, maneuverability to fix it. I've seen people use soda cans. You can have a bracelet mandrel if you have the actual sizes on a bracelet mandrel. Um, so yeah, so I would go, I mean, when you decide what makes sense for you and to measure it, you want to measure, you want to measure your hand from here all the way around to the largest part. So if you take a soft measuring tool, you can do that to find out how large you need it to be. Or if you have something like this handy that fits you and you already have one, you can see where it lines up on the chart. So I'm going to take my soft flex spool and I'm just going to wrap the wire around one, two, and it goes about three times. It's okay if it springs off like that. And now I'm just gonna fiddle with it a little bit. So I want it to be this size here. And I found that it's best to work on the side opposite where your loose ends are. So I'm gonna start on the side that's not loose and rotate it around, pulling it up until I get a shape that looks good and is close to my measurement. If you have to pinch it in a little bit more, just kind of tweak it. You could probably pull on these ends just a little bit. Okay, so. Now that I've got my shape kind of figured out there, I'm just gonna put it down for a moment and I'm gonna move my attention over to the smaller gauge. So this is the 22 gauge wire. It's also the non-tarnish silver plated craft wire. And for this one, so this one I cut 30 inches. For this one I cut 48 to 50 inches. So there's a lot of wire you're working with. And I'm just gonna get it out of this coil here, straighten it out. Once again, I will use my nylon jaw pliers and I'm gonna hold one end and I'm just gonna pull it all the way through the whole thing. Um, you may want to wear safety goggles or glasses while doing this kind of a project because there is a lot of wire that can be springing back at you. So just to be safe. Now the first time I did this, I didn't cut as much wire and you can easily add wire. So if you don't want to work with a strand this long um, on this particular project, I did just add in some wire. But I think it's nice when you just have one continuous wire all the way around, which is what I did with this one. 
So that's why I'm working with this extra large piece. Okay, so now I'm just gonna come back to my shape here and get it all lined up. Oh my gosh, you, <laughs> I once cut a wire and the little loose piece shot up into my nostril. Oh no, that sounds terrible. I'm so sorry that happened. So I'm gonna start on the opposite side of my loose end. So my loose ends are here. Here's the one end, here's the other end. And I did this both ways. I did this as a demonstration. I did it starting on this side, closing these in. And then I also did it on this side before my video and I found it was neater and held the shape better going this direction. So I'm just gonna wrap a little bit around the bottom. Yes, you do need a face shield. Wire can be no joke. And I'm just, I'm just using my fingers. This is 22 gauge. So it's very soft, easy to manipulate. And you want your um, tails to be on the top of your bracelet because you don't want them to be underneath and then poking as you put them on. So when you're doing your design, when you wanna cut off your tail, just wanna make sure it's at the top. And then you can use your chain nose pliers to tuck it in. Okay, and the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just flatten it. But I wanna go a few more a few more wraps. I'm gonna do about six wraps between my beads. So now I'm gonna take the longer side and I'm gonna just continue to wrap until I have six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I think I'm working too far from myself here. Let me pull my camera back because I just can't quite see what's happening. I know, the camera is always in the way. It's just a little bit, I have it positioned like a little bit further away from me than usual for some reason. Okay, so once I've got all of my wraps that I want, I'm gonna take my chain nose plier and I'm just gonna lightly squish them down. Kind of flatten them a little bit. And that's not totally necessary. You can get away with not doing that, but I just found that it was a little bit nicer. I'm also gonna squish these together. And now I'm ready to add my first bead. So I'm just gonna randomly pick up these little yellow beads. I'm gonna pick one bead up and I'm gonna hold it in place on top of the bangle and then I'm gonna wrap around. And I've got so much wire that it's like, you gotta be careful it doesn't pick up everything in this path. <laughs> it gets easier as your wire gets smaller. <laughs> All right, so now I've got six wraps again. I'm just gonna take my chain nose pliers and squeeze them coils together, nice and neat. 
Um, you know, I did have a little bit of a of a problem with the red and green one, and it, it just cinched itself together. So when I did this one, on the opposite side, I had a little bubble. Let me see where I ended it. I don't know if I'll even know where I ended it. I had a little bit, oh, I think it was right there. I had a little bit of a bubble, and I wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but cinching it down all the way around, it just eventually worked its way out. Um, I'd probably say my bump was about the size of this bead. So it wasn't a tiny, tiny bump, but it wasn't huge either. And it ended up cinching its way down. I thought this was really fun in the, in the red and green. I should put that here. Yeah, I was like, what's gonna happen? I thought the same thing as I was going along. I'm like, uh-oh, am I gonna have to trim this? <laughs> what is gonna happen? But it ended up being okay. All right, so after I have six wraps, then I put on another bead and you wanna hold it in place on the top of your, your bangle and just tightly. Tightly, tightly wrap. I totally thought of you with this project, Sarah, doing all of the yellow. This is gonna be a really happy bracelet. Now all of our craft wire colors do have a color coating and then an enamel process on top. So I will tell you if you're working with colors like the red and the green, to be a little bit careful that you don't nick the color off um, when you're squishing down or pulling together your coils. And a couple of ways you can help protect your project would be, um, we have a product called Tool Magic that you use to dip your tools in. And it creates like a plastic coating on the tip of your tools and it can peel right off so it's not permanent. Although if you do a lot of wire work, maybe you'd wanna keep one set of pliers um, with that stuff on it and one set without. I've also heard of people putting tape on their tool. So another bead and just just a little pop of yellow. Yeah, I think that's why yellow is really fun to accessorize with um, because it can be just a fun, nice little accent, just like adding a little yellow pillow to your couch or something that just adds a little pop of pop of sunshine. I was thinking about maybe using um, one of our brass colors, like an antique brass even for the yellow. I was curious how that would look together because my shirt today is like yellow and taupe or tan. And I think it's such a nice compliment to tone down the yellow a little bit if you wanted to.
So for those of you that checked out the great bead extravaganza, is there anyone in particular you're just like really excited to learn more about? And I mean, aside from us soft flexors, of course, is there anybody else on there that maybe is new to you and you're excited to check out or someone you know and you're happy that they're involved? I think it's such a great mix of companies. And this is a pretty like tight wrapped project for me. Um, a lot of times I do loose messy wraps. And I think you can get away with doing that too. I didn't love, I didn't one example and I actually cut it apart. I didn't love it. It just didn't feel like it was tight enough for this type of a design, but I've seen people incorporate um, some silk or other materials in a bangle, and I think doing that would be really fun to make it a little bit messier. Ooh, yellow and blue teal is luscious together. What a great combination. Hi, Susie. Thanks for joining us. So I am just going to, as, as you see, we've got one of these little pieces here that are loose. What I'm doing here when I catch up to that is I'm just gonna make sure it's in line and I'm just gonna continue wrapping right around it. And then you'll see what we decide to do at the end. So you're just joining us, Susie. We're making a wire wrapped bangle with Softlex craft wire. I used the 18 gauge non-tarnish sterling silver for the base for my bangle shape. And I did go around, I wanted it to go around three times. I didn't say that in the beginning, but um, that's why I ended up with 30 inches. I really wanted it to be three times around. I just felt that that was nice and stable. And then using 22 gauge silver plated non-tarnish for the wrapping part. And then I just squeeze your coils. I, I'm doing six coils in between the beads. Squeeze and flatten. And you'll see there's this one little blue sky here. So he just got wrapped in and we'll tackle that later. I am making mine large, two and three quarters size um, to fit my wrist. I tend to have a larger wrist. I don't always have luck with bangles, so I have to go a little bit bigger. And then the medium is two and a half inches round. And if you missed the beginning, I was able to use Softlex spool. It has to be like a 30 foot or 100 foot size. They're both the same size. Um, and that's what I used as my my guide. I think people can use a soda can. I'm not sure exactly what size that comes out to, but I've seen people do that. or if you have a mandrel. Um, 
I'm excited for everybody <laughs> on the great bead extravaganza. But there are a few people like Christy Friesen. Friesen, I don't know her very well, um, but I've heard of her for years. I know she's a polymer clay artist and I'm excited to see what she brings to the event and getting to know her. I know that I've been at a few shows and she's had classes and um, people are always very excited about taking her classes. So she's someone new to me. Thanks, Susie, I love the yellow too. So the yellow is from our Halloween mini kit. So you get the orange, the white, and then I pulled out all of the yellows I had left um, to just focus in on this color. I thought white would be really fun too, but I wasn't sure how that would actually show up on the video. Whereas yellow, you can really see. And another designer I enjoy is Humble Beads. Heather from Humble Beads. She always has really beautiful, earthy inspired beads and designs. And so I'm looking forward to what she's gonna do for the great bead extravaganza. I will be joining Sarah for the Softlex time slot. Um, yeah, her design for the event is so pretty. If you guys haven't seen it yet, Take, take a look in the groups she did share. I think it was this weekend. Um, she did share what she's gonna be focusing on and it was really, really pretty. Terry is lurking, but she loves humble beads. <laughs> Hi, Terry. I'm glad it uh, <laughs> talking about them brought you out of lurking status. <laughs> Yeah, Heather has always had really, really pretty things. <laughs> Stephanie just got home, so she's gonna catch this later. However, she wants to share that she just got the Pantone collection from Softlex in the mailbox today. Awesome. Did you get the did you get all of the items? Like the the wire, the bead strands, the bead mix? It's so nice when everything kind of coordinates together so well. And this is what, I did both of these with the bead mix. So I used the red and the green and some of the gold from the bead mix on this bangle. And then I used the blue and the gray sleet colors on this one. So two really fun colorways, both from the bead Pantone bead mix. So I'm going to be sharing, I'm going to be um, joining Sarah when the, for the Sarah time slot on the schedule, which is on Sunday. Oh yeah, that will look so pretty together. You're right. What a great pair to wear. I love that. Oh, you just made me realize if you focused in on doing like a colorway per bangle, like something monochromatic or um, maybe two-toned in a very similar way. You can make a whole bunch of these and then you have like a rainbow work of design that you can pull two together. You can wear three different colors depending on what you're wearing that day. Oh gosh, I love that. So I was teasing Sarah because we didn't actually put me on the schedule. Um, we just put her name on the schedule. I'm the one that <laughs> put the schedule together. <laughs> and it was just Sarah's name. So she kept asking me, hey, um, 
she was asking me on Friday, let's talk about what we're going to do. And I was like, I'm not on the schedule. You are. <laughs> I'm totally teasing her. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yes, I have orange too. I can do an orange one. I could do a white one, all from the Halloween mini kit, which if you missed it earlier, the mini kit, the Halloween mini kit comes packed with a lots of, lots of things in there. It's got a 10 foot spool of white soft flex beading wire. It's got crimps and findings. It's got two adorable charms, um, some bead stoppers and a lovely mix of check glass. I'm using the yellow from that mix, but the check glass comes in orange, yellow, and white. It was $14.95, which was a smoking deal already, and it's now 25% off because Halloween is right around the corner, and that makes it only like $11 for all of that. I mean, as I was saying earlier, just the spool of Softlex alone is, um, like seven eighty nine or something. So, so for just a couple of dollars more, you're getting beads and crimps and findings and charms and bead stoppers, little mini bead stoppers. You have every, and if you want to send it to somebody, like um, wanted to send it to somebody who wants to learn how to make jewelry, it's a great gift all you need is cutters and crimping pliers and you've got everything um everything to get started so what would that be like our basic crimping pliers are 13 dollars. our basic cutters i think are 10 so somewhere around 35 dollars, and you've got a complete set of items two tools and the kit to start beading Oh, right, it is, I didn't even get a chance to talk about joyful beating. I had so many other things to talk about this morning when I got, well, this morning, when I got started in the beginning. So in the Softlex VIB Facebook group, we have been doing joyful beating for the month of October. Um, and what that means is we had a prompt each day Today's prompt is to design with citrine color beads or wire, just anything in that citrine-y, pumpkin-y color, and share it with the group. It's so fun to see what everyone's working on. It's very inspiring to have these prompts. I'm glad we brought it back for the, for the month of October. And on Friday, we're gonna be doing a prompt of using this Halloween mini kit in a design. So you'll see all sorts of things in there. So if you see here, I did end up with a little bit of a bump, but my bead is gonna cover right over it. And we made it to the end. Okay, so I do wanna, I wanna fix this one here. So this is where I started. I wanna actually trim that back even a little bit more because it was kind of going around the corner. Okay, so I cut that one from the beginning and I just used my chain nose pliers to really work it down and then I yeah, this would be a great place to add a charm. You can even use, because I still have some excess wire, you can use and make a loop for your charm or you can just attach a charm right on here. So using the flush side facing my design, because I want that to be nice and straight, I'm gonna trim off 
my excess. You see I have a little tip there. I'm just gonna use my chain nose pliers to push that down. And I might have to go just to trim a little bit more off because you don't want it to go under the bangle. You want it to stay on top. This way it doesn't scratch anybody. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so let me even find. So now what I did, I don't even see the one opening. So we just wrapped right over it. We have this one here was a little end piece. So you can do a couple of things. You can either just trim this away right there, right up next to that wrap, or you can just take it and bend it back if you wanted to too. And then that would just be like a little, a little notch. So on this particular one, I, I did have two. So I bended them back right there and there and just tucked them in. You don't even feel them. And on this one, I just trimmed them. Oh, I had one that I bent right there. Or I can just come in with my flat nose pliers if I don't wanna bend it and just trim that off and make sure that I have this tucked in there nicely. And there you have it. You can add charms, you can add tassels, would be really cute. And they hold their shape really well. This one I sadly made a little bit too big. This was my first one and I made it just slightly too big, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that would really love that bangle because they could never find one to fit. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just see where we ended up here. So we ended up right on that large one by using the Softlex spool. If you need to make it smaller, um, you either have to pinch it down a little bit more in the beginning or find a an item that is closer to two and a half inches in width and wrap your wire around that. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I could always do the blue first and then do the yellow and the yellow will keep the blue kind of hanging on there and won't, won't let it slide off. Good point. All right, let's flip you guys up and thank you, so pretty. Please click, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Um, subscribe if you're new here. There's all three of them on. Oh, that's such a fun design. I can see this being one that um, can be quite addictive because once you get going uh, doing the wrapping, you don't really have to think very much about it. You just have to wrap six times, add your next bead. If I was using bigger beads, maybe I wouldn't even need to wrap quite as many times. Um, yeah, I can see I can see this being one of the, a fun project to just keep making over and over and over again. All of the little mini bead mixes um, from our from our kits would be perfect for this type of design. Buy three, get one free. All craft wire up until tomorrow, October 27th at midnight Pacific time. And that includes all gauges, all colors, all shapes. We've got um, some half round and some square and the majority is in the round. Next, you can try a hoop earring. Oh, speaking of hoop earrings, Karen, thanks for mentioning that. Um, I had this on my desk, but this was a hoop earring that we did with the Tierra cast ring way back when. So you can find this in um, the YouTube channel already. It's the same concept, uh, just using the Tierra cast hammered ring connector as your base. Perfect for a little earring. Yes, very 60s mod. <laughs> oh, thank you, Solitary Empath. I never disappoint. 
Thanks so much. I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot more comfortable now that I've reached my 100 video mark. <laughs> you could use washers too, definitely, Terry. Yes, that would be a really fun way to re you know reuse and recycle some things you might have in your garage and, um, and even having the wire show a little bit more on the washer up and around. <laughs> Sarah says, just like she always knew I would, yeah. Yeah, Sarah's definitely one of my biggest encouragers and we all need people like that in our lives. So just give us that little nudge. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so thanks for being here today. You'll find me again next Monday. We do have a time change, I believe, this weekend. Um, so I'll still be here 3 p.m. Pacific time, but it'll be 4 p.m. for those in Arizona with me. Um, because we don't change our clocks here. And I believe 4 p.m. will still be okay for me. Um, with school and stuff, kids are home and then they're at school and then they're home. It's been kind of crazy, but I think even if I have to pick kids up, I should get home in time. Um, so we're just gonna leave it as it is for now and say 3 p.m. Pacific time continuing on. And for those of my friends here in Arizona, remember it'll be an hour later oh you're from mesa too yeah we have quite a few arizona um ladies on here so welcome have a great week everyone be sure to check us out on the great bead extravaganza and of course don't miss our fall masterpiece reveal and unboxing on the softlex company facebook page this wednesday at 3 p.m pacific time oh carrie's in sedona how wonderful Oh, I love Sedona. I haven't been there actually in quite some time. I think it might've been last fall. Um, I gotta get up there soon and see the leaves change. <laughs> Terry's in the Bay Area. Well, that's where Softlex Company is, Terry. If you ever, um, I don't think our gallery is open now with the pandemic, but um, in the future, once things are back open again, um, you can come visit us. We have a gallery that's open a few times a week and you'd be able to come and, um, and shop and see all the beautiful beads in person. Um, really, yeah, not open, that's what I thought. Miss Martha's a desert rat too. Yay, desert rats unites. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great week. I'll see you here next Monday. Pick up your craft wire if you're getting low. It's so wonderful for this time of year because um, Sarah's got tons of ornaments and stuff she's created with craft wire. So if you like to give um, ornaments and stuff like that this time of year, craft wire is a wonderful product to, to grab a hold of. Buy three, get one free at softlexcompany.com. Bye.